everybody, we've got a craft project that we're going to do, and this one's kind of fun, and you'll make a little kind of a luminary or a little, uh, almost it could be a night light to put in your bedroom if you wanted to. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take a container and we're gonna make some, cover it with some Mod Podge and tissue paper, and we're going to put a little tea light down inside so that you can uh, make this glow in your bedroom. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, so the materials that you're going to use, you're going to have a cup, now I used a jar, but we're going to do this on plastic so that in case it breaks or falls, it won't, uh, nobody will get cut. So I've got my plastic cup. I've got some Mod Podge. I put some in a little container here so that I can be brushing it on my cup. I've got some little pieces of tissue paper here. And I've got a piece of, um, this is that foam, black foam, but you could also just use black paper, but this is what I happen to have. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna start just by using a brush and starting to, I'm gonna put my hand right inside the cup. It's gonna be a little easier for me. And really this just paints on, Mod Podge is really just like Elmer's glue. Okay, so I'm gonna start to put some of this tissue paper on here. And when I lay this on, when I lay this on, it will just stick to my cup. And the nice thing about this is, it doesn't have to be on here perfectly because wait till you see what I'm gonna do with it. So I've got some layers of this on. And now I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm gonna paint right over the top of it. And you're gonna think, it looks like it's covering it and making it like milky and white, like the Mod Podge is. But the nice thing about this is, it's going to dry clear and it's gonna give it a nice sparkle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more pieces here. Okay, put a couple more. Oop. You almost have to get your finger wet or separate these before you start because um, it's really hard to get them unstuck. And I can even lay some sideways. I can put it at an angle like this, however you want. And you want them to overlap a little bit because that's gonna make more variation in your color. Add a little bit more over here. Okay, try to get another one of these unstuck, sorry. I think probably one thing that would be a good idea before you get started, because you won't want to be putting your hand in your mouth, that's for sure, is to go ahead and separate these as best as you can before you get start, get ready to start. Just save you a little bit of time. So again, I'm gonna put another little coat of paint on here or the Mod Podge on here. And I'm gonna just keep going all the way around my cup. Down here at the bottom, I'm just gonna fold it under. I'm gonna turn it under and I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. So I can set my paint cup upside down to dry. All right, so I'm gonna keep working on this and I'm gonna uh, let you catch up when I get a little bit more done. Okay, so we are back and we've got the um, this all covered up with our tissue paper and our Mod Podge. Now, the only thing is we've kind of been waiting quite a while and there, I don't know if you can see, but there's still some kind of, kind of gluey places. You are gonna wanna paint the Mod Podge over this because it gives it a nice kind of a shiny glossy look and this is still a little bit damp, but we can't just sit here any longer and wait for this to be totally dry. So what I'm gonna do next is I've got my foam. I'm using foam because that's what I had, but you could use paper. While I've been waiting, I went ahead and I cut out a mouth that I'm gonna glue on here. I've got a little piece like this, and I don't know, I, I'm kind of feeling like the triangle shaped nose is gonna work for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut one out of here. And you know, the nice thing is if you decide it's bigger than you want or something like that, you just cut it down. So I've got my mouth and my nose. Now let me show you the simple trick for eyes so you get them the same size, because that's always the worst. Take a piece of paper, fold it in half, okay? And cut out your circle, just holding this together. Cut out your circle. All right, I'm gonna keep cutting here, I'm gonna keep cutting. And then, and it's definitely not gonna be a perfect circle, okay? That is, that's not gonna happen. That's not too bad, I see it's a little wider on this side. But so I've got my circle, now I'm gonna still keep holding these together because right now they match up. So right now they are the same size. I'm gonna go ahead and make an eye kind of like this. So all I'm going to do is cut a circle in, I'm still holding them together, I'm just gonna to cut a circle out of the inside of here, okay? So I am just cutting this kind of a little circle out of here like that. And now I have my two pieces like this. When I pop them apart, they are like that. So here's my face. 
Now I'm gonna get my glue. I'm just gonna get ready to glue it on. I'm gonna put my eyes up higher here. Oh, I should have had it upside down. Okay. And you, you know, you don't need a lot. I'm using the tacky glue because it's thicker and it dries a little faster. So I'm gonna put one eye here. And even if a little bit of glue squishes out, it's okay. Those are pretty close together. I think I could scoot them apart a little bit. So I'm gonna get them on here and then I'm gonna give you a good view of this. Remember, if you've got some glue showing, I'm gonna wipe a little bit of that off. It's not that big of a deal. Oop, there went the uh, tombstone. Put this on my nose. It's not that big of a deal because the glue is gonna dry clear. Oh, and I made the mistake of putting my glue bottle back down. And again, you don't need a whole lot of glue on these things because you're not putting anything on here that's too heavy. So I'm gonna put, move my mouth down here. And you can see I've still got some glue kind of coming off the edges here. All right, so I have got this like this, and you can make your face however you want. I would go ahead, and on your little candle thing that you're gonna get, these little tea lights are called. This is not, you won't ever touch a match to this. This is not a candle. Underneath there's a little tab. I'm gonna push it over and it makes it glow. And this is a nice one because it even blinks. Whoopsie, and I'm gonna drop it down here into my little, um, my little ghost or my little pumpkin. And let's take a look at it in the dark. How's it look, Shannon? Oh, it looks amazing. Wonderful. All right, so this is one of your projects that you can be working on. So have fun doing this, you guys.